God of High School has unfortunately come to an end. Uh, let's take a recap back on my favorite character, Dawi Han. For those of you that only know Dawi Han through the anime, you suck. Go read that dang webtoon, man. Yongji Park, the creator of God of High School, did an amazing job creating Dawi Han. He's a relatable character, not only because he's human, but he actually makes mistakes and pays a lot of consequences towards his actions. I think not a lot of webtoon characters actually get that in terms of sacrifice. What piqued my interest with Dawi Han is his encounter with the Jade Emperor. Dawi promises Mori Jin that he'd get his grandfather back to safety, and the Jade Emperor actually wants Tai Jin. Mu Jin Park's team is actually ready to hand off Tai Jin. I mean, there's nothing they can do against the Jade Emperor. But Dawi Han steps in, and he knows he has to fulfill his promise to Mori Jin. Dawi Han ends up blocking the Jade Emperor. Up until now, no one has ever really challenged the Jade Emperor. So he uses Dawi Han as an example, and in the result, he ends up gouging out Dawi's right eye in front of everyone. To everyone's surprise, Dawi holds his stance, not budging after just losing an eye and being threatened by the Emperor. As he tells Dawi, his other eye will be next if he doesn't move out of the way. And what happened next? <laughs> we lost. Uh, that was it. Dawi just took the biggest out of his life. He lost an eye. He lost Mori's grandpa. He even lost Mori. L l look at how they're holding him. He lost his eye, not his leg. Why are they holding him like that? That's the walk of shame, bro. Hey, but that's reality though. I mean, if the good guys always won at the end of the day, I mean, that wouldn't be entertaining. This shit ain't Dragon Ball Z, you feel me? It's, it's, it's just not what it is. But this is exactly how Yonji Park gets you to keep on reading. You want these characters to win. That's why you just wait and see, you know? You, you wait for their training arc. You wait for them to come back and kick those guys' ass. Dawi Han ends up taking yet another L, which personally I thought was gonna be his last. He ends up dying protecting Mira Yu. It seems like my boy can't get a break when it comes to blocking off powerful enemies. Dawi ends up fighting five powerful bishops from Notch organization. He knocks two of them unconscious, while the other three go to town on Dawi. He falls unconscious, but his strong will and determination kept his body going. While he was knocked out, it seems his own body even still remembered his goal. No one can pass, Dawi says over and over again, while still unconscious by the way. Don't get me wrong, Dawi ended up putting in the work and he got loose on those guys. Multiple people got beat up. I mean, shoot, someone lost a sock. This is the only webtoon I've seen where someone literally got their socks knocked off. Dawi even knocked somebody out of their own borrowed power special move with his bare fist. How can you do something like that at like the age of 17? But after Dawi Han falls, Mira Yu instantly comes in, saving him, after her own battle was concluded. She takes care of the bishops before attending to Dawi Han and finding his lifeless body on the floor. Many people were confused while reading the webtoon, so let me clarify what actually went down after he got back up. Basically, Dawi Han was already dead. He ends up meeting his friend Sung Tae, who passed away during the first chapters of the Go Tournament. He actually tells Sung Tae that he can't rest now. He has someone precious right in front of him, and he still needs to protect them. Dawi refuses to die, as he mushes up whatever he has left just to stand, with his lifeless body on the brink of death and unconsciousness. He finally accepts death as he asks Sung Tae to give him one minute so that he can continue to protect Mira Yu with his own hands up until the very end. All right, so that'll be the end of this video. There will be a part two coming out soon. I just don't know when yet. If you stay till the end, thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and you want more. I love reading webtoons. This is something new for me. I'm not really a commentator or a content creator.